All right, guys, welcome to the reboxing video here of um, the WL Toys drift car. All right, so first of all, I want to say that this is a pretty awesome product. Um, what you get for the price here, about 60 bucks, an awesome battery, a great motor, proper suspension. I mean, I just have too many good things to say about this thing. And um, I wish I could keep it, but for me... Um, I wanted a um, a drift car, but what they sent me was an um, on-road racing car, which means that it doesn't go up, you know, it doesn't even do like bumps or anything like that. This one, um, for instance, it was supposed to be a drift car, did not come with drift tires, but at the very least I can go do like little courses in the house uh, with my daughter and stuff like that. But this one here, unfortunately, it's so low to the ground that it's only for racing, and so that means uh, most likely outdoors. I don't have any anywhere to, to play with this. The other thing that was not cool was it did not come with the tools to be able to remove this. Um, I also noticed that the tires are proprietary, and that means that I can't just take some other drift tires that I have, even if I had this tool, and to just change them out and use them. So again... Too many things that just did not really work out for me, but for, for you, if you're just interested in racing this at a little track, fantastic car. All right, anyway, let's start putting it away. So the car itself, it came with instruction manual and a quick startup guide, both very well written, very well planned, and um, so long as you do have the tools, you should be able to do gearing and all kinds of stuff. And change bits out but again it's a bit like an apple product so it has to be part of their ecosystem otherwise it doesn't work which is a bit of a, uh, a pity for me anyway here we have the charger very good charger had no problems with that the little bits and pieces of gears if you want to change that um, but unfortunately no tools to change the change out the wheels or no like screwdrivers or anything like that so if you don't have your own, you won't be able to do any of that. The remote control is uh, pretty good for a pistol grip. I'm not a fan of pistol grip controls, but for a pistol grip control, it is excellent. And I also like that it only requires four double A's. Um, not a big fan of the ones that require more than that. And there's a lot of them still being sold on the market. Anyway put this in first actually because I don't want the car to get smushed in there. That would not be cool. So, there we go. This way hopefully the car won't jump around and get smushed. I don't want that. I want to make sure that they're able to get the car back in perfect condition and then be able to sell it to who deserves this vehicle. And it is a brilliant vehicle. Okay, all right, so this is fully reboxed as such. And I've got another box here. Shout out to, what is this? USPS. Yeah, I like them. I'm so glad that they come and deliver packages for us. All right, to make it so that it doesn't flip flop in the box too much, I think I'm going to put this in here to help it along, maybe. This will help it along. Help it along. All right, this should do it. So the box will not be jumping around in there. Everything is in there, nice and packaged. And you can close it off like so. And this way, I like to make these videos to make sure that. The seller knows they're getting everything that they sent me back and that is well packaged and safe, so they should receive it in the best possible condition. And there we go. And so there we have it. 
and I'll put the label on it and it will be on its way. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.